Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to create a test referral. So this is if you wanted to test the campaigns um, before you launch them or maybe they're already launched and you wanted to test certain parts of the campaign. Uh, we do have the ability to do that within the Talkable platform. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're first going to start by checking the fraud settings. We do want to make sure that you're aware of all your different fraud settings before you do attempt to test this um, in case during testing you get blocked for a self-referral or for being an existing customer. Um, we'll then go ahead and create a test share um, so that you can all see that share page or sign up page um, and follow the referral right through the flow. Um, and then finally, we'll also create a completed referral. So we will um, assume that the friend made a purchase um, and then see how the behavior is for the advocate to get their reward. So let's go ahead and jump into the Talkable platform. And as I mentioned, the first thing that we do want to do is just review the fraud settings uh, to be aware of that while we're testing. So um, if you click on menu here and fraud settings, so currently I'm assuming that none of your campaigns are live, perhaps it's the first time you're testing a campaign. And so the best thing to do in this case is of course, to just skip all the fraud settings so you can go through the entire flow. Um, you may not be able to do this on your production site, but perhaps this is something that you can leverage on your staging site to go through that flow and not run into any issues with self-referral. Um, the next thing I'll do is I'll go into campaigns. And then I'll pick one of my test campaigns here, click on, let's say, the post purchase. And then you'll see a QA tab. So the QA tab is where you can start testing those campaigns. Um, so you'll see two options here, creating a test offer and creating a test referral. So creating the test offer is what will take us to that share page where we can follow that entire flow. Um, and then creating test referral, that's what we'll do right at the end to generate that advocate reward email. So I'll go ahead and click on create test offer. And um, you'll see certain things are already generated in here. Um, you don't really need to include anything unless you have um, some specific um, reasons only when the post purchase pop up will show. So for example, if the post purchase pop up doesn't show for anybody with a subtotal of less than $100, you want to make sure that that is updated. Um, then you'll click on view offer and you'll see the share page here. So you can go ahead and start testing um, the different share options. So for example, let me start with share via email um, and I'm just going to send this to an email that I've created for this test. I'll click on send email. Um, I can click on share via Facebook. So you should see what that looks like on Facebook as well. And then finally, the share by link option where you can copy paste the link um, into a different window and see if that works. Um, let me go and test email for now. So I'll go ahead and open up my email and you'll see that there's an email that's come through. Um, it is that friend share email. So it says um, your friend gave you $10 um, and then you can go ahead and click on claim your gift. So because I'm on the same window and I am cookied, um, we're getting caught as a self-referral here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open this in a new window. And um, I've gotten my coupon code here. So now I can click on click to copy and then I can click on shop now and then the friend will go ahead and make a purchase. Let's say that the friend has finished making their purchase and we now want to test the advocate side of it. Um, we'll go back to the QA tab here um, and then we'll click on create test referral. So um, this is uh, similar to what it looks like in the customer service portal. It essentially takes you to that create referral tab and you can create a test referral from here. So let's say I want to create a new order and the advocate in this case is that test email, gmail.com. Um, this is the order number, the friend who was invited. We're just going to leave some dummy variables in there, put in an order subtotal. Um, and then let's say that they shared from this campaign that's live, the invite campaign. And we'll go ahead and create referral. And uh, you will have to approve this. So you will see that this is the advocate information. This is the friend information. Uh, we do say this, this is a QA email, so this will get tracked as a test. Um, and then you can go ahead and click approve. Okay. 
And so now this is marked as approved. So if I go into the Talkable system and I do click on customer service, um, you will see that uh, we've gone ahead and approved that referral here. Um, finally, I'll go back to the email and see if I got that advocate reward paid email, which in this case I did. Um, and I can click on that and I can review the advocate reward paid email as well.